It is, uh, I was thinking to say Thursday. I'm wrong. It's Wednesday. We're finishing up this one little patch that we started yesterday. Y'all should have done seen that. By now, you should have seen already the drone footage showing everything we got to cut here. I'm starting the patch across the road. I'm gonna take y'all along with me. Y'all gonna set on across the road and y'all gonna watch me cut the set out with the 718. Buckle up, here we go. <laughs> Okay, so before we get this video started, I want y'all to go down below in the comments. I have something very special coming up. On I'll record it on Thanksgiving Day, and I'll try and hopefully have it out like Sunday after Thanksgiving. But uh, we have a great big gathering at our Thanksgiving dinners at our at my mom and dad's house, and part of what I going to video on thanksgiving day we're going to have technically he'd be a great uncle he's he's uh he was my my papa's brother and they started all of the the logging stuff they started with mules and cross cut saws and axes and everything and i'm gonna sit down with him and his last remaining brother that we have and my dad and we're gonna do uh, a video just talking and what I want y'all to do is go down in the comments and leave a comment of questions that y'all would like to have answered or that y'all would like to ask or you know something like that. I have several in mind already. It's going to be quite a long video probably. Probably won't be any video of vlogging going on. It'll just be people sitting around the table talking. But go down below right now in the comments and uh, just leave a comment with a question that y'all would like to have answered and uh, I think that's going to be a real cool video but anyway here we go
that knocked out, I'm not sure what y'all can see right here. Cause we're on the GoPro, and the GoPro is a little bit harder to film with sometimes. But you can see the top right here in front of the head of the cutter. The uh, I've got wood through this way, top's facing me here, and then where the butt stop up there, I got butt starting going the other way with wood through the other way. The ground here. The ground in the woods is good, but the road structure and the ditches are extremely wet. So y'all saw how we set Mickey up on those mats the other day. What that will do is that will let him put my mats on that. He'll straighten it all up and level it up real pretty with his loader when he comes out. But he'll set his mats on top of that wood and then that will prevent uh, those mats if you could be over there and watch them right now you'd be able to watch those mats bounce and, and what that's doing is stressing the mats and uh, it, it it doesn't those things are nine hundred dollars a piece it's not good for them to be stressed like that because then it wears them out we've done a really good job this year of, of maintaining all eight we try and do eight a year uh, last year we basically trashed eight in a year but we didn't have that trailer to store them on either we have the trailer to store them on now plus uh, you know we kept the cables in them and we didn't have to use them as much as here you didn't either but whenever you you start putting that loader on top of them and it's sitting there and it's bouncing all day long because it don't have any support under it because the ground is just sponging out from underneath them they'll just start breaking all the pieces so so that's just, that right there is just a thing to protect the $900 investment. You see Michael over there in the 748L. Coming in with some more trashy, trashy stuff. As y'all could see as I was cutting this, hopefully y'all could see, this mess is ridiculously thick. Like, whoo, bad thick with bushes. Um, you know cutting that set like that that is not a fast rolling process that's a I take my time some people can cut them fast I can cut it fast it, I'm, I'm trying to make sure I keep all my stumps low to where it's not rough on my skitter drivers if we have to pull the loader out in there a little bit further we're not blowing out any tires um, you know and, and it didn't look like it because them piles over there have so much crap in them but I, I was trying to you know keep as much of that junk out of it as I could but also if y'all saw how I kept putting all my piles over on one side those are all in drag so Michael whenever we put Mickey in there Michael will just just shove every bit of that to Mickey real fast and then Mickey will have a whole bunch of right off the bat wood to work with so we won't have to be sitting and waiting on the skidder to you know set the loader up and then go skid wood or you know even wait on the cutter to cut a rope you have to do that there's there's roughly a load already cut in the set that the loader will be able to work on while everybody else is getting established but anyway we're gonna go throw this in the truck y'all can see around you know how it's kind of thick on the roadsides here that's what i'm fixing to spend my next few hours doing is uh, daylighting these roads you can see there's like a little ephemeral smz that runs up through there but uh so it's, it's wet right it's wet right there hear Matt over there cutting but anyway we're uh I'm gonna spend my next few hours daylighting these roadsides so you can see how cutting that set had got the sunlight on the road see how the road's trying to go to crap you get daylight on it it'll dry up I may have the way the sun's coming up over here and going across and staying at a low angle to the south this time of year I may get an hour two hours max of daylight on this road right now Sunlight is your best friend when it comes to building roads or drying roads. I mean, so We're gonna go put y'all up in the truck 
gonna give me something to eat. And then we're gonna go back to it. So uh, yeah, we'll be back a little bit later and I'll kinda show y'all the progress we made. Some of y'all may think that was just boring sitting there watching that cutter work. Some of y'all may think that was the most awesome thing ever. I like watching them because I like listening to that song. But anyway, we'll be back. Y'all hang tight.